Hello everyone, and today is a Python's tutorial. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, assignment problem. And this particular notebook uh, we uploaded on Canvas, actually, uh, including the three different solver we use, OK, uh, in this demo. The first solver we're going to uh, introduce is using SciPy uh, linear sum algorithm uh, assignment library and basically is a JVC algorithm well known in starting the late 80s actually. The second algorithm we're going to introduce is the network X bipartite matching minimal way uh, matching library. Um, <clears throat> OK, the third one we're going to introduce today is the OR tools, a simple linear sum assignment library. It's also a different implementation of a JVC. In fact, it's the same implementation, the same exact algorithm and implementation. But we show you all three today in the very uh, overview manner. The first is we <clears throat> going to use, uh, introduce the SciPy uh, linear sum assignment library. Uh, to import this library, which is from SciPy optimize uh, class, and import linear sum assignment library, OK, and uh, portion. Um, uh, giving a cost array, which is a NumPy array, and with a four uh, assignment possible for source for the uh, demand for supply for demand okay and we just simply call the linear sum assignment library give it the cost matrix okay and it will give you a set of a row index and column index pair and showing you what kind of assignment optimal assignment it is and then we call uh, print the uh, uh, row library and the column library in two different uh, rows, and print out the final uh, cost. This is a very simple and uh, streamlined implementation from SciPy. It's very useful. And the algorithm has been proven so far is one of the most uh, efficient algorithms. There's tons of uh, uh, <clears throat> tons of uh, so-called variation proposed after uh, 87. And then uh, as proven, the complexity is almost identical. Mm -hmm. And later on, we will present another uh, notebook and give you more elaborated uh, use of the SciPy library. But here I just want to introduce, if you want a simple one, and this is a very easy to implement in the SciPy optimized library. The next example <clears throat> is we're going to introduce the network uh, X. OK, they also have a so-called bipartite matching algorithm. <clears throat> and this things we're going to, from network X algorithms, import the bipartite. And you can check for the uh, network X documentation how to use that. So initialize the graph, which is a digraph, which is a direct graph. And <clears throat> since it is a bipartite uh, graph, so we have a top node and bottom node. And basically, it's a source node and a destination node. OK? And we can. I think it's in the network X uh, library is conventions called the top nodes and bottom node. And we add a nodes from top node equals to bipartite group one. OK. Add an another set of bottom nodes to call it bipartite uh, graph two, OK, group two. And I give two different color for it. Later on is for the. Uh, uh, illustration purpose. Then we're adding uh, the edges. Okay, 
Instead of uh, using directly uh, the matrices, I'm adding edges from 1 to 4 are the source node, from 5 to seven, uh, 8 are the destination node. I give the, the cost for the matching, okay, for the assignment, and initialize the color and the width later on we use for uh, illustration or, or uh, plot. Again, after defining the network, solving it is very simple. I'm calling it uh, bipartite matching, minima wave full matching for the graph of a B, which is bipartite, and using top node as the leading, and based on the weight, okay, we we'll put in. So this is a minima weight matching, basically. Well, then I print out the result of the matching, and here you can see that uh, no one is matched with no eight, no two is matched with no seven, no three is matched with no six, and no four is matched with no five. And they repeat again to the reverse order for the destination. For this return a so-called dictionary or my, my matching this is uh, returning a dictionary instead of uh, I prefer to deal with in the list. So I convert the max, uh, my matching from a dictionary to a list of assignment. Okay. Next is fairly easy. We uh, assigning the uh, edge color uh, for the matching or the unmatched uh, link. So I'm using red color for the edges in the assignment or using for a gray, uh, lighter gray for the rest of the edges. The edges coming from the B graph, okay? <clears throat> Same thing, I did the edge width equals to five is the edge is in the assignment, otherwise send it to one. Similar situation. Next, this is the part is we already done it many times and getting no color from the color information we defined by the note over here. And <clears throat> start drawing the network. The graph B is drawing and I give a position of the node. Okay, and since I already have the uh, no position is directly, I call it bipartite layout. I'm setting up the no position. Since this is bipartite, I don't have to explicitly set the location of each node. So here is, I'm giving the graph B, I just defined it with the node, and top nodes are the one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm plotting the network with a no position uh, label. I want to show the no label. And font, uh, font color is red. No size is a thousand, so it's bigger, I can see. The no color is equal to the, uh, the color I defined it before. Now, since I defined an edge color and edge width, I'm going to use right here, edge color equals the list of edge color. I defined it here, okay, over here. And the edge width, I'm using the <coughs> uh, edge width, uh, the width of the edges. Then I'm setting up the uh, attribute for the weight and saving into a label list, a list called label one. Finally, I'm going to draw the edge label, which is the way on each one of the link, okay, each one of the arc. Uh, the first, if you don't have this and you run this, all the weight is going to be displayed in the 50% location. They overlap quite a bit, so I cannot see all explicitly all the weight, so I offset it by Point A5, which is on the left. If it's less than uh, <clears throat> less than 50%, is going to be yellow to the right. So in this manner, I can see all the way explicitly. Okay, 
And also due to the edge color I define, so the red color represents the matching, and also with uh, different uh, width, link width. All the unmatched link arc right here are showing in the lighter gray and uh, different width. Okay, so this is a very interesting implementation. Solving the problem is not, not that difficult. And more of defining the edges, defining the node, and separate into two bipartite group, and help me to uh, display the network and the assignment later on. Just watch so you notice, and for the top node is from the bottom one, two, three, four, but <clears throat> for the uh, domain nodes or the destination node, uh, they're ranking by whatever uh, closest to the match better. So it's not really uh, by any sequence. Okay. So this is a network access implementation. Uh, straightforward, just calling a different solver. And so this is a fairly straightforward. The third implementation is using the Google's OR tools uh, using simple linear assignment library we have. Same thing I'm going to define, okay? A linear sum assignment, simple assignment model. And this is the logic for OR tool. Very similar to Garobi's and Cplex and set up the linear programming uh, model. It first defines what type of model it is. It determines what kind of uh, uh, what kind of solver it's going to be using. But it's def basically define a model and define a cause uh, matrix similar to the SciPy in the beginning. Then I'm going to uh, reformat this. Uh, NumPy array uh, matrix into a set of a starting node, ending node, all called a top node and bottom node. Okay, we we'll separate, we're using a mesh grid. Okay, getting from the cost matrix, okay, uh, first dimension and uh, first, uh, second dimension and first dimension. So this is the first, is the source and the destination. Okay. The starting node is using the uh, starting node on Raven, and ending node is the ending node uh, on Raven. And using those two to defining uh, uh, Ravel function to uh, define the top node and the bottom node, or start node and ending node. And also the R cos, which is the the value of this matrix for each pair of, okay, no. Assigning, adding arc uh, with cost, starting no, ending no, and arc cost. So these are the three things we need for put into the assignment model. And simply just call it solve, since the, during the definition of the model, we already know what type of a model it is. Uh, they unify a solver called so, dot solve, which you just have to uh, solve the model based on the definition. So if the status equals to optimal, if the return status equal to optimal, then I'm printing out the assignment cost, which is the assignment dot optimal cost. And for each uh, pair of the assignment num number nodes, I'm going to put workers assigning to, to the task, okay? So, <clears throat> so here we have assignment.writemate, which is the right-hand side uh, pair, and the associated cost for that, okay? So if the return value is infeasible, no assignments possible, <clears throat> is Assignment is possible overflow because using too large of the cost, it will return that also and in that case. So here is the same thing. 
uh, no still using 0 to 3 which is uh, over here there's no start with a 0 okay for this uh, source or supply node and also for the uh, demand nodes is also start with a 0 to number of nodes you have and associated cost for that and total cost is 265 <clears throat> 03 algorithm return the same result okay so these are the three interesting but sim simplified model <clears throat> for you to get started all right next notebook i'm going to show is <clears throat> solving assignment problem directly using the uh, straightforward implementation instead of uh, calling these uh, libraries. I know sometimes it's probably easier for you to see the actual implementation. And here I'm use, uh, trying to explain the Hungarian algorithm. We explained it in our lecture videos. <clears throat> Same thing in the beginning, I'm still using uh, NumPy to generate a random matrix, assignment matrix, which is the cost matrix I have. <clears throat> and I can call the so-called linear sum assignment using this. So here we can print out the total assignment cost and each pair of the assignment. So this example I have is what? A five by five matrix. And here I can have a clean, uh, clean SciPy implementation after the problem is solved. I want to uh, draw the network. Also calculate the total cost. Okay, so I modulize this uh, after. And also <clears throat> I have a main program called run assignment, actually calling the SciPy library. So here what we're trying to do is, uh, first, <clears throat> I run the linear assignment uh, library. Input was a cost matrix. I get a, a, a pair of <clears throat> indexes back, row index and column index. And second, I'm going to call a clean assignment. Basically, the clean assignment is, instead of a return by a matrix uh, as a match, I'm going to just leave the pair which is on the assignment. <clears throat> okay, so the final assignment is I in the range of the row, and then I'm going to adding from the assignment result, row and columns. <clears throat> so I print out a pair of uh, matching right here. And also print out the Calculating cost, which is the final cost in this situation. Okay. Here, what I have is similar implementation to draw the network. Okay. And five uh, supply node, five demand nodes on the bipartite graph. Okay. The Similar situation, I'm using different weight for different type of uh, art. Matching is red, um, non matching is black. Okay, so this is a uh, pretty much more elaborate way for uh, input the model and solve it by the linear sum assignment library from SciPy optimize and print the result calculating the matching and calculate the total result and move on part three of this notebook what i'm i'm <clears throat> presenting is the full implementation of the hungarian algorithm just from scratch as we describe in our uh, Hungarian algorithm, the first step is trying to uh, subtract the minima row 
elements from each row. Okay, so we're trying to find out the row minima from one to another. <clears throat> Second is I'm subtracting the minima from each column. Uh, so that's the first step we do. This is step one. And next step is after <clears throat> we find out, uh, scratch everything from from the uh, the next step we we'll usually do is trying to find out if <clears throat> there is a possible assignment, and the assignment usually depends on uh, as I uh, talk about in in the our lecture video. We need to find out the least amount of uh, zero in the rows or column uh, in each row and or column we can start the assignment and this process is very easy to explain in the video using a tableau format for program it's a little bit more difficult so here i set up a uh, <clears throat> function called mini, uh, minimize zeros and see each row what is the minimize zero we got okay so I have input a zero matrix and, and mark zero how many <clears throat> a zero we have in that uh, rows. And this is how it's done as a subroutines for the next, we call the mark matrix. So <clears throat> this mark matrix we're trying to using the step three is what is a uh, minimum amount of uh, uh, rows and column I can cross out from my tableau so see if I can use a uh, number of assignment equals to the number of uh, column and rows so we're going to check using this subroutine to check if our Hungarian algorithm is complete so here we're going to utilize the <clears throat> minima rows algorithm uh, function we just defined it. Okay, we give a copy of the zero uh, matrix in our <clears throat> in our uh, as an input and mark the zero as well. So we can mark a column with a zero or mark the row with a zero and similar situation and see how much. Uh, rows and column I can cross out. Then we could adjust matrix. Basically, after the uh, adjust the matrix for all the non-zero elements in the current cost matrix, okay, in the current cost matrix, I'm going to subtract the minima <coughs> number from those un uncovered uh, non-zero elements. And trying to find more assignment in that case. Finally, the main Hungarian algorithm algorithm is uh, see if we can mark the matrix. Okay, if <clears throat> uh, count for the uh, mark the rows and mark the columns in that case, and. If they equals to uh, n, the algorithm stop. If less than n, we can cross out. Then we continue to do so. Okay. So after this implement, this couple subroutine, actually four separate subroutine, I can forming the main program. Okay. Then the Hungarian algorithm we use. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> calling the Hungarian algorithm as main routine and they will call the other subroutine and get an assignment back and this is the five different assignment using the same matrix okay. and the total cost is equal to 93 in this case I can Integrate all these by using a subroutine called answer calculation. Okay. Uh, 
Here I'm using another <clears throat> hand inputted uh, cost matrix and calling the Hungarian algorithm and to using a cop copy of the cost matrix since I don't want to destroy the original cost matrix. Okay, get the element position and calculating answers. Okay. Um, I can print out the result, answers of matching and the cost. If we want to find out the maximum match, uh, weighted matching instead of a minimum uh, cost, sum of the cost matching, all we have to do is subtract everything, okay, uh, using the maximum value uh, in this array and this is, uh, in this case, is 9. This is all single digit. And using the maximum value subtract by the, co uh, subtract by the cost of these, each elements, then I can get a maximum matching. Again, what we do is final cost will be the uh, maximum value sub uh, minus the profit matrix. OK. And then we solve the exact the same thing. Okay, so profit now is the reverse order. I'm solving the cost matrix is copy again, getting the answer and the answer of the matrix, um, uh, the matrix coming back for the calculation of the result. So here is the first one is the minima weighted match. We call the minima weighted match uh, assignment total equal to A, and these are the assignment, what we have, okay, and associated cost. <clears throat> Next is the, the maximum weighted assignment, total cost is 43, and these are the uh, assignment for each row and column. Again, this is a, uh, uh, Implementing Hungarian algorithm from scratch. Well, we're using a several uh, subroutine to accomplish that. But also, doesn't matter is the minimum match, uh, way to match or is maximum way to match. I can using a simple uh, cost matrix transform, and then you can uh, solving as a uh, minimum weighted uh, matching or assignment. Um, before we move on, this is a just bipartite uh, assignment, uh, which is the matching in a bipartite graph. Later on, we're going to introduce algorithm to solve non-bipartite uh, assignment or matching. And the algorithm is a little bit more complicated. We we can uh, we will explain those and I'll give you. Python tutorial on how to solve non-bipartite matching method. Okay, here I'm going to uh, conclude my this video. We'll see you in the next uh, lecture video. Bye-bye.